We're back at Moonshine. This is Phil Steiner's odometer on his 2023 Goldwing that he bought on January 20th of this year. Now it is October the 2nd. And we are with the world famous Phil. Just finished his burger. Yeah. Got stuck in traffic on the way over here. 289 mile trip. Phil, you're heading back to Lakeland, Florida in about a month? Yeah, I'll be down there by the 1st of November. And, uh, yep. Me and the cat, <laughs> Mr. Dusty. Yep. So uh, tell us how you've enjoyed this motorcycle since well, uh, since January twentieth. Uh, it took a while to get used to it, but uh, it uh, I I like it uh, more every day. I haven't had one lick of problems with it. I just put a you people are not going to believe me. I just put a front tire on at uh, sixty thousand mile. The rear tire I got 45 out of, uh, which isn't bad for the original tires. And uh, like I say, I put some extra lights on it for safety and everything. And uh, it, uh, it's been a pretty good bike. I've been up to Wisconsin twice on it and uh, rolling pretty good. Uh, I usually cruise about 65, but today I had her up to 70 mile an hour. Whoa, that's insane. Trying to <laughs> trying to get the carbon out. <laughs> yep, yep. But, so, uh, so what do you think about the handling of this bike compared to your 22 and 02 and 2015? Well, it's it's a lot lighter. Uh, uh, if, you know, it's easier to put on the center stand. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I like the electric windshield on it. A uh, few other things I don't care about or care for but uh i guess we're not going to mention that the crash bars are junk well you just mentioned it <laughs> <laughs> i don't care uh yeah they uh whoever designed the crash bars uh, uh sure didn't do a very good job on it well they just tried to make it look sleeker and lighter well and, yeah then this yeah. clunky old thing down here my my o2 with the giant crash bars so yours is yeah Obviously a sleeker design. It looks a lot more sporty than this uh, couch on wheels, but Yes, uh, you've had two of these But um, Yeah, well, it's good that you're enjoying the bike and uh, tell us up tell the tell your fans about the gas mileage Well, I was running coming over. I was running about 54 something with it But uh, now since I kicked it up to about 70 I was running 51 something mm -hmm. But uh, usually at 65 I, I can run uh, it depends on the wind, you know, you go westbound one way and then go back eastbound yeah. and uh, you're hitting more wind or, you know, whatever. So but it, uh, uh, they got the motor uh, tuned pretty good. Yeah, so even this, even though this tank on this new one ha holds a gallon less, you're still getting the same range yeah, yeah, out of the yeah, tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've a heard lot of guys say they've run 300 miles, but I, the most I've run was, uh, I think, a 275, but I still have yeah. fuel left, but... All right. I, I don't want to get stranded and the uh, estimated uh, uh, miles on the on the bottom deal there uh, it's it's pretty true when it uh, uh, usually goes on reserve about 50 miles mm -hmm. to go all right and, uh, you got plenty of leeway before you run out of gas yeah yeah, yeah. which I don't think you ever have yeah, well, yeah so, I've, I've never run out of gas on this one. this now has the, the sticker the stickers that came off at 2015 well this is a brand new graphic but yeah. a million mile fill so if you see this motorcycle around lakeland florida between november and april that's phil so <laughs> he might have 64,000 here in early october he could very well be pushing into the mid 90s 90 something thousand on its first birthday so uh, keeping up keeping up a fairly brutal pace this year so, what I need, uh, I would like to have some donations for gas. <laughs> well, wouldn't we all? <laughs> wouldn't we all? Gas and tires. But, uh, yeah. I'm just going to stick with the old bridge stuff. Well, I got a Dunlap on the back now, but just a original equipment Dunlap and a yep. Bridgestone on the front. Okay. But uh, other than that, the old girl's doing good. Yep. Good to hear. Well, that's about it for Moonshine, Illinois on this lovely October 2nd. It's probably in the mid 80s right now yeah. summer has not ended yet so thanks for uh the update phil and okay. we will hopefully see you down in lakeland florida in february okay over and out folks wave goodbye phil <laughs> see y'all later <laughs>